I hope that you have a pumpkin spice latte in your hand, the fireplace going, and a cozy sweater on because in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you all of my absolute favorite items for the fall from Trader Joe's. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica, and here on my channel, I make weekly content just like this. All things healthy living, healthy eating, mom life, cleaning, organization, you name it, I've got it. But everything we do here in this community has a bit of a healthy twist because I am a nutritional practitioner and a holistic nutritionist. And if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, I would love to have you hit that big red subscribe button right over here and join our family. So to get started, I am gonna be starting with the cold thing because it's giving me slight anxiety with all of the cold beverages sitting right here to my left. I live here in Michigan and when I'm filming this video, it is the last day of September and it has already gotten pretty chilly and the change of weather and the change of season definitely changes my cravings and the things I yearn to eat. And I'm sure similarly to all of you, I definitely start craving warm and comforting chilies and stews and soups. But speaking of stews and soups, something that is newer to Trader Joe's are these organic bone broth. And now I have both the chicken and the beef bone broth that I picked up at Trader Joe's because the price of these is unbelievable. And throughout this video, I will go ahead and link prices somewhere on the screen for you guys and see how much everything costs. But the price on this bone broth is unbelievable. It is 100% organic and free range and grass fed. So for $5 and some change to get 100% grass fed bone broth is a complete steal. And not to mention when you flip it over, there is no spooky and scary ingredients. You have to be conscious because sometimes things are refrigerated. The packaging looks really natural and organic and you flip it over and there's a whole bunch of additives and gums and stuff that to be honest with you, you really don't want to be consuming. Not with this one. You flip it over and the ingredients are organic beef bone broth, organic onions, organic apple cider vinegar, which is extremely important in extracting all of the nutrients when you're making bone broth. Then it's followed by organic garlic, sea salt. You don't want crappy table salt in your bone broth. And then there's organic parsley. Those are the ingredients in these bone broths. They are unbelievable. So for me, I like to use this obviously in the use of stock when I'm making any of my soups or my stews. Additionally, I love to use bone broth as a base when I'm cooking any grain. So if I'm cooking quinoa or buckwheat, if I'm going to be making a grain for a savory dish, I love to use bone broth as my base. Moving into my next healthy fall item, you might say, Jessica, how does turmeric and ginger shots have anything to do with my Ugg boots and my pumpkin spice latte? They have everything to do with your Ugg boots and your pumpkin spice latte because the season is changing, the weather is changing, and typically during this time of year, our immune systems take a hit. Well, what better way than to boost your immune system now through the holidays more than ever by taking these organic cold pressed shots from Trader Joe's. They were a dollar. $89.99. Again, I will have the prices on the screen and the ingredients are incredible. For example, in the turmeric shot, you have organic coconut water, organic turmeric juice, organic lemon juice, and organic black pepper. Additionally, in our ginger shot, we have organic ginger juice, organic lemon juice, and organic cayenne pepper. They both pack a little heat and different nutritional benefits. I love that I saw these at Trader Joe's for such an inexpensive price point. Now, the only drawback and why I didn't buy the entire shelf of these is that the single use plastic. I am by no means a perfect environmentalist. We use goods that are packaged in plastic. It's just the reality of the world that we're currently living in. However, for such small little shots, I can easily make this at home. I can make a larger ratio and I don't use any plastic. But if I'm in a pinch and I know I have an extremely busy week ahead of me, I will definitely be picking these up to help keep my immune system up and strong. These are such easy things to grab and go. So I definitely recommend giving these a try. Along the same lines, I did pick up these organic sparkling apple cider vinegar drinks. And so I use these in the same concept. I use these by taking two tablespoons first thing in the morning before I drink my warm water with lemon and before I have my coffee, I do go ahead and I take apple cider vinegar. And these are such a wonderful, fun, tasty twist on all of the incredible benefits that I'm sure many of you know about by drinking apple cider vinegar. So this one was the cucumber mint and this one was the strawberry basil. And again, you're wondering, 
what does this have to do with fall? It has everything to do with fall for the same reasons in regards to the shots. I think that it's really important right now here in September, October, when you're watching this video to start boosting our immune system and do everything that we can to stack the deck in our favor. The next thing that caught my attention, and I'm sure would catch many of yours if you walked into a Trader Joe's right now, there was a massive end cap of it, and that was this autumn harvest soup. This autumn harvest soup is not organic. However, the ingredients are pretty darn good. So in this soup, you have tomato puree, tomato paste, pumpkin puree, onion, celery, carrot, pasteurized heavy cream, butternut squash, butternut squash puree, butter, a little bit of sugar, salt, dried garlic, dried onions and some spices, and then a tiny bit of citric acid so that it can be shelf stable. So the reason I picked this up, because this is gonna be really easy and convenient on a busy weeknight when you're trying to toss together dinner and you want something healthy, warming, and comforting, this is a great thing to have on hand. You can easily serve this with a salad and a steamed vegetable, and then in 15 minutes, you have a really nourishing and healthy dinner that took no time at all. If you're familiar with my channel or you follow me on Instagram, you see that I do a ton of baking. I bake at a minimum five days a week. So I absolutely love this next item that I picked up at Trader Joe's, and that is this can of organic pumpkin. And let me read to you the ingredients organic pumpkin. Hmm, what a concept, right? So I love to use this organic pumpkin puree. I use it in many of our homemade waffle recipes, homemade muffin recipes, homemade breakfast cookie recipes. I even blend it into some wonderful fall smoothies. If you haven't had a chance to check out some of my fall smoothies, I will go ahead and link that video for you right up here where I go through three delicious, nourishing and comforting and immune boosting smoothies to help keep you and your family healthy during this season. So make sure you check that one out after we're done here today. But this organic pumpkin is so inexpensive, it's super clean, and is a really easy staple to have in the pantry. So speaking of muffins and waffles and breakfast cookies, I use this next item that I picked up at Trader Joe's and all of those things as well. And many of times I even combine it with that organic pumpkin puree, and that's these organic sweet potatoes. You get this massive bag of organic sweet potatoes from Trader Joe's, and sweet potatoes are such a wonderful staple in our diet, especially in the fall. Also, I have a really wonderful and warming chickpea coconut sweet potato stew that I make every single fall. My family absolutely loves it. It makes our entire home smell delicious. And so I definitely need quite a few sweet potatoes when I make that recipe. So I love to pick up this bag at Trader Joe's. Okay, moving over to some more cold beverages that I picked up at Trader Joe's. As I mentioned, similarly to the shots, I think it's really important to do the best you can to make a green juice or a green smoothie every single morning at home. I talk about that frequently. And if you're new to my channel, I have tons of videos on some of my absolute favorite smoothie recipes. You guys absolutely love them. However, on those busy weekday mornings, if I'm sprinting out of the house or I know we have a lot of doctor's appointments and things planned, I do like to pick up these organic cold pressed juices from Trader Joe's especially during this busy season. For some reason during the fall, and I'm sure you guys are the same way, I feel like we are packed seven days a week. We have school and activities and plans and outings. I feel like we are always on the run pretty much from now through the holidays. So I think it's really important, if you can, obviously to do your best and make these things at home. But if you're in a pinch, Trader Joe's has a wonderful variety of cold pressed juices and obviously those immune boosting shots. These things are really important for both you and your kiddos and boosting your immune system to make sure that everybody stays strong and healthy during this very busy season. Okay, so I know this video is a healthy fall Trader Joe's haul. However, I could not possibly make this video without including this next item, and that are these gluten-free pumpkin pancakes. And when I use the word healthy, I don't necessarily think of this item in particular. However, we are definitely extremely healthy in my home, but we live our life. We are normal human beings. We just do our best 80% of the time. The other 20% of the time, we live our life and we enjoy the things that we're eating. And that definitely goes with this. There's things like white rice flour, potato starch. Third ingredient is cane sugar. I don't see anything about whole grains, whole rice. There's none of that. So it's definitely stripped down grains, stripped down rice. Typically the things that I tell you to be weary and conscious of. Another ingredient in here is maltodextrin. I'm not a huge fan of that ingredient. So essentially it's genetically modified corn, which really can cause havoc on your gut. So I don't recommend that you sit down and eat an entire box in one weekend. However, these things 
are delicious and we do eat gluten-free here in my home and so we do our best 80 percent of the time but these pancakes are a definite treat and a huge hit with my family the next item i picked up at trader joe's is definitely more of a comfort food and something that i find myself making more and more of in the fall and that is pasta so i absolutely love this pasta from trader joe's it is organic yellow lentil and brown rice pasta and the ingredients are organic yellow lentil flour and organic brown rice flour and water doesn't get much better than this and i totally 100 percent believe you could pick this one up and serve it to your husband or your kids and they would have no idea that it's gluten-free pasta because it tastes so delicious and i absolutely love the texture. So when I saw this ingredient at Trader Joe's, I was completely shocked and so excited. To be honest with you, I really don't shop at Trader Joe's that often, even though it's around the corner from us. I maybe pop in there like four or five times a year, so I don't know if this has been there for a while or if it's one of the newer things that they have in the fall, but I found these gluten-free rice crumbs. I was so excited and so thrilled to see these because I do make my own gluten-free breadcrumbs. And while it's not hard and it doesn't take a lot of time, it's just an extra step that I have to take. I have a breaded chicken butternut squash recipe that I absolutely love and it's such a perfect dish to serve in the fall. So this will be a huge help for me in saving a step when I'm putting that recipe together. I wanna thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's haul. And if you liked this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And again, I would love it if you consider hitting that subscribe button. It's right over here on the screen. So go ahead and show it some love and then I will see you back here next Thursday.